it is possible to quantitatively measure the pH of a solution using a device known as a pH meter, there are also ways to determine pH qualitatively. In this lesson, we will learn about indicators, which help us indicate the pH of a solution. An indicator changes color depending on the pH of the solution analyzed. Because of this, they are also known as pH indicators. Universal indicator is very versatile as it can measure pH across the entire scale from 0 to 14. It is not a single indicator, but rather a combination of various indicators. If you look at the color changes of universal indicator according to the pH of a solution, you will find that it resembles a rainbow. If universal indicator solution turns deep red in a solution, it means that the solution is strongly acidic, with a pH of 1 to 2. If the universal indicator solution turns green, it means that the solution is neutral, with a pH of 7. If the universal indicator solution turns dark blue or purple, it means that the solution is strongly alkaline. Universal indicator paper works in exactly the same manner. Litmus is another indicator commonly found absorbed onto paper as litmus paper. Blue litmus paper turns red under acidic conditions, pH less than 7. Red litmus paper turns blue under alkaline conditions, pH greater than 7. Phenolphthalein is an indicator commonly used to determine the endpoint of a strong acid strong alkali or weak acid strong alkali titration. It goes from colorless to fuchsia pink at a pH of 8.2. Methyl orange is used to determine the endpoint of either a strong acid strong alkali or strong acid weak alkali titration. It is red at a pH lower than 3.1 and yellow at a pH higher than 4.4. In conclusion, indicators are substances that change color at a certain pH. The point at which an indicator changes color is known as its endpoint, which can be at any pH. Very common indicators that you will encounter are universal indicator, litmus in the form of litmus paper, phenolphthalein, and methyl orange.